Sorry for all the tech problems, those of you online. Um, the broadcast just kept failing. We're having a few internet problems here, but hopefully we're good now. So go ahead and make your way onto your back and get nice and cozy. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe placing something underneath your knees, letting your hands be up toward the ceiling. And maybe it would feel good for a minute to just sort of shake it out. So shake out your arms, shake your legs, maybe shake your head side to side like you're shaking your head no. Maybe squeeze your fists and then release, squeeze, release, squeeze, squeeze your shoulders, release, squeeze your feet, release, squeeze your feet, release. Just kind of wiggle and squirm and shake and squeeze until everything starts to feel a little more settled and relaxed. And then when your body gets to that point, just take a nice deep inhale exhaling with a sigh and letting go. Really start to feel your shoulder blades on the ground. Adjust them if you need to. Feel your heels on the ground. Maybe windshield wiper your feet back and forth. And then let your legs settle and gently open. Start to feel your body just getting a bit heavier. Your legs getting a bit heavier and relaxed. Your arms sort of melting, getting heavier. The back of your head getting heavier. Feel your spine just sort of setting down. Just imagine almost like you're, um, you have an inflatable mattress. You sort of let the air out and just oh, feel yourself sink down into the ground and soften. And know that however you're showing up tonight, however good or bad you're feeling, however relaxed or tense your feeling that all of it is welcome all of it is um, I'm happy that it's here begin to take in all of the sounds in your environment now just turn up your awareness to the sound Now turn up your awareness to your breath. Begin to notice your breath and just notice which nostril is taking in the most air right now. And try to equalize the breath as it comes through the nostrils so that it's coming through both equally. Then connect with your intention for this practice. Always imagining that it already is and state it in your mind three times. Know that the journey that I take you on is one that we are co-creating together. And if at any time you feel like turning left when I say to go right, or any other variation, please follow your own guidance. Your guidance will lead you to the experiences that you need to have 
to accomplish that intention, to make that intention evident in your daily life. You are wise, you are knowing. You are an intelligent, infinite being. Feel yourself beginning to trust your body. Trust that infinite part of you. And as you feel that trust settle around you, on you, and in you, Notice your body gets stiller, softer. Notice it setting down things it was holding before. Bring your attention now to your face. Let your mind focus your awareness on your right eye and feel it soften. And then on your left eye, and feel it soften. Feel both eyes. Feel them settle back down into their sockets and feel all the little muscles around your eyes get soft and pliant. Notice the sensation of your nose, the bridge, the tip, the nostrils. The sensation of your right cheekbone and your left cheekbone both, your upper lip, your lower lip, both. Feel your tongue soft and relaxed, your teeth, your gums, your jaws. Feel your right ear deep inside it now left ear, and then deep inside of it. And then feeling both ears at the same time. Feel your right eyebrow, left eyebrow, space between the eyebrows, both eyebrows. Feel your whole forehead, and notice it getting soft. All of the tension dripping off of it. And then feeling your whole face, an awareness of the sensation of your whole face. Feel now the top of your head. Imagine that the top of your head is an open portal allowing light, knowing, connection to flow in. Feel it warm. Feel the back of your head where it gently rests on the ground. Feel the back of your neck getting soft and releasing. Notice the sensation of your right shoulder blade and feel it soften left shoulder blade, soften, both shoulder blades. Feel the space between your shoulder blades in your upper back, middle back, low back, right side of your back, left side of your back. Feel your spine, the whole length of your spine Imagine your spine as a column of light, where the light that's shining down through the crown of your head moves all the way down through your spine and then circulates all the way back up again and out through the crown of the head, making a loop of light. Feel your whole back. Feel the backs of your arms on the ground, the backs of your legs on the ground. The whole back body now, the whole back body.
Feel now the tops of both of your feet, your ankles, both shins, both kneecaps, both thighs. Feel the low belly, upper belly, lungs, heart center collarbone, throat. Then moving down and feeling the tips of the fingers of both hands. Then the tops of the hands, the palms, the forearms, the elbows, the upper arms, the shoulders. Feel now the whole upper body, the tops of the legs, tops of the arms, the torso, the face, the whole top of the body. Feel the whole left side of the body, left arm, left leg, left side. The whole right side of the body, right arm, right leg, right side. Feel the whole body now, the whole body, the whole body, the whole body. Feel the breath moving through the body, once again noticing the sensation in the nostrils. Feel the breath move through both nostrils equally and meet at the point between the eyebrows. Begin to count those breaths backwards from the number 11. Let your awareness of the breath go. Imagine that you are holding a stack of large photographs in front of you. But the photographs do more than convey a visual image. They convey a whole sense as if you're in the picture for a moment. You sense the way that it looks, the way that it maybe smells, the way that you would feel in that. And then as you move the photograph to the next one, noticing that it shifts just as quickly to the next image, feeling it on every level, experiencing the image. See in the first image a mountain goat. The next image, a sunset at the beach. And then a field of wildflowers. A mother raising her voice. A baby crying. Monks chanting. Walking in a shallow river. Floating on your back in the ocean looking up at the stars, smelling a red rose, seeing a pond full of lily pads, hiking a steep mountain, feeling the hot surface of a red rock, petting a dog, and then setting that stack of photographs aside and taking a breath. Noticing as you look around that you are sitting on a little floating disc. You're sitting on a little floating disc in shallow water it's maybe only a couple of feet deep in all directions. 
and the water looks pink. And you can see clear to the bottom, there are ice crystals all around. Crystals. And the scenery is beautiful where the blue sky meets the pink water at the horizon. And you notice yourself perfectly balanced on this little floating disk. In fact, you find yourself in somewhat of a meditative posture, noticing that you can hold perfectly still, even as a little breeze picks up and begins to move that little disc just a bit, rocking it back and forth. You find yourself stable here. And then pretty soon you look out over the water and you start to see other people appear seated on little floating discs. All of them in a meditative posture, with their eyes closed, with straight spines perfectly balanced. And then you look again and you notice that there's a golden light that looks so solid it almost appears to be a bar. And it is connecting all of you from heart to heart, all of the people floating on their little discs. And as if you can leave your body for a moment, you float above this scene and see that all of these people connected with these golden bars form this beautiful, sacred geometry symbol. And you notice how when one person's little floating disc hits a wave, that that little wave travels gently through that whole geometric design. And you feel that connectedness that you have with all of these other people, these other beings. And all of you open your eyes at the same time and you begin to look around at one another. And at first, no one looks familiar. You appear to all be strangers. But then you think to yourself, I should look again. And you look again. And as you do, you notice that suddenly it's as if this little covering, this little shell, this little figure that everyone is wearing seems to just float off of them like a transparent sheet. And as you look again, you see that you know all of the people here. You've known them for beyond any measure of time. And in fact, they feel as if they are family, an infinite kind of family, a soul kind of family. And you look at each other and smile and notice that those golden bars that connect your heart are now pulsating and glowing. You feel this connection to all of the people here even more deeply. And then you all think at the same time to remember the word remember, 
echoes in your mind, remember. And suddenly, you're filled with a memory of something that you all agreed to do together or to work on together or to be together or to help each other with. Listen for those remembering. And if you're not sure, ask someone near to you who's connected to you, what should I be remembering? What should I be remembering? And then Once again, you float outside of your body for a moment, up above, so you can look at this beautiful design and see the intricate way in which you are connected to all of these other people. And then the design shifts, and it's as if you can see an image, a picture, of what you all can accomplish. And just notice what you see, feel, hear, or sense. With nothing that is or is not supposed to happen. An acceptance of all that does. moving back down into your body again and feeling and sensing and seeing those tunnels of light glowing even more brightly, feeling a rich and deep sense of connection. And then, as if all of those people were suddenly up above you in the sky as little points of light, see them as stars forming a beautiful geometric design above you in the sky. And feel yourself moving up toward the space between your eyebrows to your third eye space into this vast, beautiful darkness of stars. And arriving in this infinite stillness, find yourself really resting for a moment, resting in the bliss Then coming back down onto your little disc in the water and letting any spontaneous imagery, thought, or feeling flash. Anything that's ready to be released, see it, let it go. Then letting all of that go feeling this connection, feeling this picture, this bigger mission that you are a part of, sensing it in your cells, remembering.
And then remembering your intention for the practice tonight, stating it three times exactly as you did before. And feeling the immense amount of support and help feeling that it is not your intention alone, but the intention of every other person in this water. Every other person supports you and works with you in this intention. Feel that power. Then maintaining that sense of connection, that sense of power and of purpose. And remembering, begin to just be aware of the current space you are in. Feeling the ground beneath you, hearing the sounds around you. Noticing your breath as it moves through your body. Feel that stillness and peace that you are, that power. Counting from five now. Five, four, three, two, one. Yoga Nidra is over. Deep in your breath. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Begin to stretch your body. Move on to one side. Just like every time you awake in the morning, it's like a little rebirth. This is a little rebirth too. Be gentle with yourself, gentle with your movement, and gentle with your thoughts as you push yourself up to a seated position. Place your hands in prayer pose at your chest. Feel your breath move through your chest. Sense the energy moving up and down your spine through the palms of your hands. Inhaling to close with an OM. Namaste.